Hey guys, how you guys doing today? Today we're going to teach you how to turn your passion into a profitable business. So let me break that down a little bit. We're going to turn what you love to do, talk about, see, watch, experience, and turn it into a business that makes you money. I didn't say it makes you a millionaire. I didn't say it makes you rich. I said it makes you money. It makes it profitable for you to do it. If you become rich and you become a millionaire, so much the better. But let's talk about that here in a little bit. Hi guys, I'm Jay Burnham and this is The Real Jay Burnham Show. And I want to talk to you about how you can learn to turn your passion into a profitable, successful business. Now, I just described that the, your passion is something that you're really exuberant about, really excited about. It could be what, something you like to talk about, something that you like to experience, something you like to do, some sort of activity, uh, something that just makes your blood just pump really fast and gets you really, really excited. And this is what I want to talk to you today about. And then we want to, I want to show you how to actually turn that into a business that will make you the spondulets, all right? Money, cash, dollars, pesos, the whole works, all right? So we want to teach you how to do that, all right? I want to teach you how to turn what you love doing, experiencing, seeing, and participating in, and turn it into something that can actually bring money into your life. Now, why did I come up with this? I'll tell you right first off. Moving wasn't something I was passionate about, right? Being in the moving industry was not something that I want. I woke up every night and said, I want to be a mover. No, that wasn't true. However, I always wanted to be my own business owner, and that's what excited me. So my, my passion was to be in a to be an owner of a successful business. I didn't care what the business was. I just wanted to be in a successful business. And quite honestly, I tried a lot of different things here and there. I tried MLM. I tried all sorts of different things, um, online, offline. I tried it all. And it wasn't until I stumbled upon my movie business that it went, oh, yeah, I could be successful at it. You know, I had, I had that initial initial uh, spark of success and it just went yes I can do this this is I shouldn't say easy but it, it was it, it just became it came naturally came easy to me not to say it's easy because not everybody can start a moving business but for me it just yes it's something just went yeah this was this is something I can do and it boom it started off and I made a success out of it am I a millionaire no am I making money at it and paying my bills yeah, yeah, absolutely. And am I having fun doing it? Yeah, most times. You know, sometimes it's stressful. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass. But yeah, for the most part, I'm enjoying the hell out of this life. And would I ever work for somebody ever again? Hell to the no. Uh-uh, no way. Forget it. I will never work for anybody ever, 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 ever again. I don't care how much stress this business gives to me. I am not working for anybody ever again. So let me tell you something. What is your passion? Now, the reason why I came up with this video is last night I had my guys over. Um, it was a short day. So I said, hey, I gave one of my guys one of my, my debits card and said, go buy a rack of ribs and buy some, uh, you know, other stuff so that we can have some food. So he went and bought some ribs and some uh, sausage and so on and so forth. And we cooked up and we had some ribs and sausage. And he invited a couple other guys. Well, it really wasn't expected. He didn't really like it. But I'm glad he did in the long run because these guys got together and they started chatting. And now uh, they're all black. All four of these people that were there were black people. And I'm not being racist. I'm just telling you because it's apropos to the story, right? The reason why I'm saying that they're black is because then they started talking about black culture and things that happen in their neighborhood with them being black. Now, I'm the only white guy there. So I'm a little, you know, and they all know each other very well. They're all friends and everything. You know, they're drinking their beers. And I won't lie, they were smoking a little marijuana. 
And then they just start talking shit about music. They were talking about who would be the better producer, T.I. or Gotti. Like, who? What? Who gives a flying rat's ass? But I'll tell you what. I was watching the inter the interchange between all of these guys. And I'll tell you right now, man, they these guys were passionate, passionate about this subject. I mean, they were they talked about this stuff for years. Their eyes lit up, their heart raced, they were moving, they're animated. They were excited about the sub the talking about music and, and whether Gotti and TI would be a better producer or who is doing what in the music industry and the lyrics of this song versus the lyrics of that song and all and I was just like, oh my God, these guys were like this they this is what they are excited about. And it clicked on me. It's like, you know what? I've seen that I've seen YouTube shows and I've seen and I've listened to a podcast about these guys just sitting around at a table talking shit about something. There's a there's I'm subscribed to a channel for a bunch of fat old guys like me sitting around a table talking about comic books. Now don't get me wrong, I love that subject. To me, that's cool, right? But they're like, there was five, six of these guys just sitting around the table talking about comic books and Defenders television show and all this. And I, and I remember that, and all of a sudden something clicked. I go, these guys could do something very much like that. They could turn this into a podcast or a YouTube show and, and turn it in with a lot of work uh, with, and a little effort. They could actually turn this into something that could be quite brandable and actually very lucrative for themselves. And it doesn't take a lot, guys. All they need to do it, to film it, is a cell phone camera. Get around the table, have someone at the, at, you know, using a cell phone and videoing it and just going from one person to the other person and so on and so forth. And when each person speaks, or have a couple of people with a cell phone videoing it from each side, doing some little basic camera work and then splicing the, splicing the, the videos together. I, I'm telling you, this this is uh, these guys could make one hell of a show, and it got me thinking. It's like these guys are really passionate about it, and if they did this, you know, I'd say if they did like a a podcast every single day or a YouTube chat uh, video every single day of them talking trash uh, for the next 12 to 18 months with a good website and a little bit of promotion, these guys could be making 10, 20 thousand dollars. Though I showed the guy today, one of the guys that he worked for me, and I showed him, hey, this is an example of what I'm trying to show you. And this was a comic book show, one of the comic book shows that I was showing, of these guys just sitting there talking comic books. I'm saying, you guys can do something like this. Now, they only had a very small amount of subscribers to their channel, but they had almost 6,000 views to their video within a six-month period, six, seven-month period. That's a lot of views. Now, if the if uh, on the video it says, "Hey, go to the website, you know, uh, blah blah blah, and pick up our hoodies," and they started wearing the different T-shirts that they designed, and and they had the the uh, koozies for their beer and, and and stuff, and they had this paraphernalia that people like. They could be wearing it on their show, and you know, and say, "Hey, if you like what we're wearing, go to our website at such and such," and they could be selling T-shirts and hoodies and hats and all sorts of neat paraphernalia making good money doing it and with a little bit of promotion on facebook and instagram um you know these guys could have quite a turn it into quite a following and brand i'm not saying that they're going to get you know logan paul or uh casey neistat celebrity status but i definitely think they could you know get a good following of maybe a hundred thousand people within a year or 18 months if they regularly did the show and you know if they got that many people on their youtube channel then you know i i say that these guys were would be a, a you know a great a great um uh, a great thing for them all right so uh, it would just be you know a good a good experience for these guys and they could turn it in and now all of these guys would consider themselves poor and then it got me thinking yes the other day about the video I did yesterday about how you know they're you know poor people you know the differences between the poor people is their mental thing their mental state right it's their mental clarity these guys would never even thought about turning this into a business had I not said something to them 
And I said, hey, you know what? You guys just did this and you did this. You guys could make some good money. I'm not saying you're going to get rich, but I'm saying you can make some a good livable income off of just sitting there talking shit on YouTube about the, you know, <clears throat> rap music and, and, and black culture and so on and so forth. You guys could talk about this and, you know, get a good following. There's a lot of people that would watch that show. And you could see that the lights went on for all, all of them. They're just like one guy literally stood there just. And I could see his wheels turning and the ideas flowing just because I said that. And I mentioned it to him. I said, hey, they never thought of that before. And I'm wondering how many poor people have a passion, something that they like to do, that they could turn into a profitable business. And I guarantee you they're all able-bodied people probably, even some of the unable bodies have good ideas that they could turn it that they're passionate about that they could turn into videos or podcasts or a wet or a blog or something and, and if they did it consistently and they did it for a, a long period of time they could earn a good following and be making money off of that it, it's just a matter of, uh, of time for instance I, I get all these videos what am i doing i'm building up a uh, a subscription value and soon I'll be offering you uh, access to my website and various different things. I'm not trying to do that now. I'm just trying to build up a good following. I'm trying to pay my dues and, and do it because I'm passionate about giving you guys these videos. I hope that comes across to you. I'm not angry at anybody, even though maybe sometimes I come across that way. I like doing these videos. I really want to see each and every one of you uh, uh, succeed. So what am I doing? Now? I'm doing a video every single day to help you guys get that little light bulb go click, you know what I mean? And eventually, down the road, in another maybe three, four, five, six months, I'll be turning it into a way to make some money. I could be making a little bit of money now, but I would rather have a, a, you know, a good influx where I'm doing a lot and that I can really change a lot of people's lives. That's me personally. Plus, there's a little bit of fear, which I've talked about in previous videos about why people don't do. So I am a little apprehensive about doing some of this stuff and, um, you know, because I don't know how to do some of the things. I'm not a very good video editor. I don't know how to do all the various different things, you know, but I love doing these videos. Okay. So how do you, one, so how do you determine what is something you're passionate about? Well, you just got to recognize what is something that you really like to do? What is it something that, man, you get your, your you get very animated speaking about? What if someone said, wow, man, you really uh, are interested? Is it politics? Is it sports? Is it movies? Is it uh, doing hair? Is it doing, you know, nails? Is it watching uh, popping pimples? Believe it or not, there's a channel about someone popping pimples, and they're making bank on it. So don't be laughing at that. That's a true story. Um. You know, whatever it is, is it is it making costumes and doing cosplays and talking about comic books? I'm a, I'm a big comic book fan. Um, what what is it that really gets your passion? What gets you you know that you can sit and talk about it for hours? Is it your favorite author? You know, what is it? Is it painting? Is it history? What is it? I guess guarantee you, there will be a audience out for whatever it is you want. All you have to do is sit down and do it. And you, if you want to do it the easy way and the cheapest way is to do YouTube videos or do a blog. You can do a blog, do a single article every single day or at least publish a blog. You can spend the entire like Sunday, just do an entire Sunday writing a bunch of articles. They don't even have to be long articles. Just write it and then publish each one of them each, each, each day for the next 12 months to 18 months. And I guarantee you're going to see – uh, something happened in your life. You're going to build up a following. You're going to build build up a core uh, group of people that are interested in your subject. Will it require a little bit of promotion? Yes. Will it require a little bit of education into SEO so that your stuff gets seen? Yeah, it will. But the, the amount of money that you're going to spend that gets a little bit of promotion is going to be very, very minimal. You could do a, a quick video and put it on Facebook and for 30 bucks boost that video and get like five, six hundred thousand people who have seen that video. I would say a good probably ten to twenty percent of those would become people that will go to your uh, YouTube channel or your channel and become members or like your page or whatever it is, because they're going to want to see more and more and more. 
And eventually you keep doing that over and over and over, you're gonna build a, a good subscriber list or an email list or whatever it is, and you can really boom your and, and turn this into a very profitable business. For instance, if I were to do this and send everybody to a website and then capture everybody that to the web, everybody went to my website, I captured a, a portion, let's say 20% of everybody that went to my website, I captured their email, their name and email. And then I consistently send out emails about my life and livingness and, and, and good tips and stuff. I can get people to go and buy things or things that I wear, T-shirts or, or something, I or some, maybe it's a software I use. I can say, hey, this is the software I use. And then I can get a commission because they go and start using that software. It's called an affiliate program. You can start doing it. But you build up an email list. Now, let's say you have an email list of 1,000 people. Per industry standards from everything I've read, and this could be incorrect, so don't quote me, but I, I've, been, I've read that for every name on your email list, you will make $5. They're worth $5 every single month for every name that's on your email list. So let's say, to make the math easy, you have 1,000 people on your email list. Times that by $5, and you're going to get $5,000 every single month. Could you live off of $5,000 a month? Yes. Is that a profitable business? Yes, it is. Did I say you're going to get rich? No, you're not going to get rich. But you could turn that $5,000 into, take a portion, let's say take 10% take of it, and invest it into something else or something else that you're passionate about. Maybe it's cooking. So now you got two YouTube channels or two blogs or whatever it is, right? And that's okay. Now you've got two two different things that you're working on and you build it on and you build it on and you build it up. And now you do have a real true business that you're going to have to hire that could be making you millions and millions of dollars. That it does happen. I'm not, is it going to happen for you? Probably not. But could you get a, a portion of that? Could you get a percentage of that? Could you? Absolutely. Could you make a profitable business? Absolutely. So guys, are you living the dream? Are you truly living your dream? Because if you're not, then you have not turned your passion into a business. Stop thinking your passion is just some, a good hobby or something that relaxes you. No, turn it into some sort of money maker. And if you need ideas, just leave me a comment in below. And I'm sure I will give you some ideas or tips. And I'm sure some of the other people will do so too. They'll read it and they'll go, hey, well, have you tried this? And then if you can go out and say, well, yeah, I've tried that. Well, and then you can start using this. So use this video as a catalyst to start you to your next step in your life, in your business. And hopefully you'll start a great business. And I want to hear your success story. So leave me a comment below. And if you're not living your dream or you, you're having a hard time finding what your passion is, leave me a comment below. I'll see what I can do to help you out, okay? Like this like this video, give me a thumbs up because every thumbs up helps me out. It'll make this video more popular. Make sure you leave a comment because that will make this video more popular and help us out. And also, don't forget, right over here, there's a little red button. See it? Can you see it? Right there. It's right, it's right there. Right down there. It's a red button. It says subscribe. Do that. Subscribe to this channel. All right, guys. Thank you. I love you. I hope you guys have a great day. All right? Bye-bye.